All right, good afternoon, guys. Brian here with Vet Source again, where today we're going to embark uh, the beginning of final destruction of this raggedy looking old 77 Corvette that unfortunately has been sitting for way too long and wrecked in the past and just generally abused and not very well taken care of. But anyway, um, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to get these doors off this car. Um, the door hinge assemblies on these Corvettes are actually really, really good. The C3s and C4s did a good job uh, with hinge design. A little bit tricky to get to sometimes, but um, I'll show you real quick what we're talking about. So, newer Corvettes, you can get to the hinges uh, without even opening the door. You can actually take them apart, C5s and above, um, with uh, the door installed and shut. I think I've got a video. I do have a C5 video talking about that but the c3s um and to a lesser extent the c4s you can still get the c4s off without opening the door you've just got to use a, a universal joint to get in there the c3s however though you've got to actually get the um <coughs> sorry i'm, I'm cross multitasking here i'm not doing a very good job of it uh you've actually got to get the door open because with it closed Obviously on a C3, our front clip is bonded here and there's no way to take this off. We actually will be taking this off and want another video here to show you guys how it's done. But anyway, you've got to get inside here. And of course, even when you've got it open, you can't get to those bolts. And of course, the other crazy thing about it is that the bolts aren't even visible. They're hidden. So, let's get in here. I'll show you guys real quick. Oh, this car's nasty. Um, there's two access points. So these hinges actually have eight bolts per hinge. I'm not kidding. That is amazing when you think about the, the length as they went to to make these strong, okay, and to hold on to the car. So you got one bolt here, one bolt here. Actually, these are in pretty good shape too. Uh, hidden back there. So all, you see all four of those bolts there? That's for your lower hinge. And then up here, you've got the other four bolts. Two there, and there's two there. And of course, they did make this cut out so you can get in here. So they did make it pretty convenient. Um, now, the other access point. So those are your four bolts on this side. What you can also do is see this cover right here? This cover will come off. And the other four bolts are underneath here. And then in this little opening right here, you'll see there's your other four bolts. So you can release this either way. You can pull the door off of this and leave the hinges attached to the A-pillar. Or you can just go ahead and take the hinges off with the door and do it that way. Um, what I'll probably do, so I'll probably take them off at the hinge pillar. You can see though in the inner structure of this door, there's really not a whole lot of room uh, to work with and to see what you're doing, a lot of it is uh, installed by feel, right? You do have this nice big open area here where your power window motor will go in. This one's been scavenged quite a while ago uh, from somewhere. And then of course your, re your regulator's in here. This one's already been changed out once before because it's not riveted. Most of the original ones are riveted into place to hold them. Uh, the door itself on the C3s is actually steel, right? The entire assembly is pretty much a steel door. And then you can see right there that seam. That's actually the fiberglass skin that is attached to the steel structure. So yes, in fact, C3 doors will rust and rot, especially along this lower channel here. They, they're famous for that. Now this one here, this door is pretty good. Um, this is... This is an original door to this car, I think, but that one over there is a 78 through 82. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. I know the latches were still on 77s. I'm pretty sure they were right here. I, in fact, I know they are. I'm just losing my mind. Um, but anyway, yeah, this this door is actually still intact in pretty good shape, so we'll set this aside. It's got a lot of goodies on it. Um, you know, trim pieces that you don't normally find. The window is probably still good in here. So we'll set that aside for disassembly on another video. But today, primarily what I'm going to focus on is 
getting these doors off of here and then that'll be our video for today so let me get my tools set up i'll be right back with you we'll take care of this all right so we are set up here with our area opened up so that we can work in this and get to our bolts and take them out so i think what we're going to do on this one here is uh, rather than disconnect from this internal side here i'm going to go ahead and release these bolts here so that actually you can use the hinge as a prop point for the door when you're kind of single-handed this so that you don't have to drop the door and damage those corners which are susceptible and there's an evidence of that rust i was talking about these doors do rust bad in fact this door is from a 19 october of 80. so this would be from a 1981 as a matter of fact um, again you can tell by the location of the door handle is different it's on the upper portion versus on the lower side like on the original cars there so this door was replaced and this car actually did get hit at one point in the past you can see how bad if my butt's not in the way the fiberglass repair was on this car so it was really a poor job uh, in the beginning it's not like this thing was a cream puff so anyway let's go ahead i'm gonna show you guys again pretty easy process like i said it is hidden but uh, it's workable so we'll get this out of here one these are 9 16 by the way in case you're wondering And you can see when I push against it, see how loose that door is? Um, it's already kind of, well, it's loose from the hinge, but the door itself is, the skin is already separating from the rest of it. So this really wasn't a fabulous door to begin with. I'll probably just scrap it because it is mostly metal. Let's find find it. Unless you're laying down in there sometimes it's hard to locate these because they're right in those corners Three. where's that fourth one there we go. you saw the drawer dropped immediately and again these are just standard hardware type these are actually uh these hold up usually pretty well with that washer so um, if you can reuse them and clean them up, you can reuse them. Save yourself some money. It's one thing I tell guys, when you turn them down, your Corvette's down, save your fasteners. Because normal hardware fasteners, sometimes will do the trick, but sometimes they just don't do you any good. And if you need some, I've got uh, dozens of buckets of them. It's like my never ending to do. I like sorting through jigsaw puzzle pieces. All right, there's six of them. And what we'll do is we'll take the one furthest away from the edge of the hinge there. There's number seven. And let's get number eight. Can I see that one? And there goes the door. And because that one was damaged, I wasn't as worried about it falling. Now I went ahead, you're normally gonna have a wire bundle coming through here. Uh, this actually has a connection that goes back over to here to power windows and power door locks. If you've got that equipped, this one they'd already spliced it through here and cut it before, that's why I cut it. Otherwise I do try to snake that out and save it. So I'm not having to make splices and potential problems down the road. I mean, wire repair is not that hard, but I just try to avoid it. That way I don't have to compromise the wire circuit all right so we're just going to come straight back and there's our door so as you can see it's too bad uh it was damaged enough in that corner as soon as it hit that corner it just folded so but we will strip this see how it's rotted at the front too so there you know again this guy's this car sat for probably uh this car has been sitting almost 20 years. So, um, you know, after that, moisture and things like that get to it. But you can see really clearly there what that does to it. So, anyway, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, not real stressful. 
Uh, our next one is going to be, we're going to go ahead and pull this apart. We're going to separate this, break this front clip free, and we're going to go ahead and break these body bolts free. There's one of them right there. We had another video where I talked about body bolts, so I'll be showing you guys the process of getting those out of there so that we can pull this cab off of this thing and deliver this to our customer. So, catch up with you guys next time. I want to appreciate, uh, tell you, appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll talk to you then. Thanks, guys.